What up, everybody? This is a special video. This is an unboxing and first and initial impressions by the cast of the Dem80 show of the LG Optimus G on AT&T. That totally explains why you can only see my hands. Let's pull this bad boy out right here. Mailman just dropped this off. Let's get into this bad boy, shall we? As you see, regular bland AT&T packaging. Nothing really too special. You know, picture of the phone. Well, you know, AT&T has gotten a little bland with their boxes. But, hey, you know, it's not the box you're going to be using for the next two years now, is it? <clears throat> well, possibly. I mean, you could use this to keep knickknacks or whatever, you know, or whatever. <clears throat> so, without for further ado, let's get this bad boy open. Right. There you go. Welcome to at and Texting and driving, it can wait. I completely agree. But we're going to take the handset. We're going to put it off to the side as we check the rest of the box. Now, AT&T has, they, I, I swear they ship every phone out in the same box. And, uh, quick start guide. You see one of these, you've seen all of these. Runs Android. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, how to get apps. Different stuff, a couple QR codes. AT&T Locker, AT&T U-Verse, uh, my AT&T, and AT&T Messages. AT&T Messages, I was using that on the uh, Galaxy S3, and I actually like that. I'm more of a Windows Phone 8 guy, and that really reminds me of like the thread text messaging and uh, integration of the uh, conversations and interactions that you have with your contacts. Uh, and it's really good. I like it. It's a little glitchy on the S3. I'm interested to see how it performs on the Optimus G. And this is the Optimus G booklet. This has got to be one of the thickest cell phone manual booklets I have ever seen. But it's in two languages too. So you got Spanish, I'm assuming. I can't read Spanish. And then you got English. And I'm guessing it's American English unless I see, you know, color with a U in it. You know, there's that off to the side. Standard wall adapter, travel adapter. Mm -hmm. The special, it plugs in the top, not the side. It looks a lot like the Samsung one that I attached to the side. And uh, USB data cable, also for charging. Now I want to see how I want to see how how long this cable is. Because I'm a fan of long cables. I like it. I like long cables. So if I need to, you know, still use my phone while it's charging, I'm not hindered. What's this? Well, no, it's just a piece of cardboard. Yeah, Here. And as I check the cable, after I get it all off and everything, uh... Eh, fairly long. I mean, I could use a little bit longer, but USB extenders, you know, you're not supposed to use them because you can lose currency or whatever. But uh, that's enough of what's inside the box. Put all that back in there. Take care of that later. That goes off to the side. Special plastic wrap off to the side. And here we are, folks. The LG Optimus G. This phone is supposed to be the BA of the BA. All right, it has a 1.5 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon, a bunch of long letters and crap that go after it, but it's the latest set, uh, set chip for the Snapdragon series. Uh, of two gigs of RAM, so this thing is like equivalent to some people's desktop computers. This is insane. 
uh, it has internal 16 gig because this is the AT&T variant. It has internal 16 gig and expandable 16 gig, but I believe I can expand that up to 32 gigs. Okay, so as you see, Texas Drive can wait. Nothing on this side except for what looks to be the power button right there, as you can see. It's pronounced. Now, I've seen in some reviews where the um, they said that they didn't like it because it wasn't pronounced, but I can't agree. I, I think that is very, very pronounced. I could clearly just run my finger over and bow. I know that's there. Same thing with the rocker keys over here for the volume, except they're not as pronounced. As you can see there, let's actually get up in this. See, hopefully the autofocus works with me today, not against me. Um, this is glass back here. Yeah. I think you guys feel my uh, worry. But it's all part of the presentation. So, put that off to the side. And uh, I, I, I'm afraid to touch it because glass, glass is one of the biggest things that picks up fingerprints. You know? <laughs> this is the back of the phone. All right. And we go, got a room texting and driving. It can wait because texting and driving can totally wait. I am 100% against texting and driving. But that's just me. All right. Over here, what I failed to mention before was this little flap right here that seems to hide everything. Bam, they, uh, they were nice enough to put the micro SD card in there for me. Now, I am a doubting Thomas or negative Nancy or whatever you want to call me, but I, I like to look and see, you know, what size it is. And it is 16 gig. And it gets blurry when I go up close. But uh, it's a King Max. Whatever. Not a King Stin, King Max. Not a stand disc, King Max. Moving on. Charge your port down here. Microphone. Uh two screws, which actually I first seen that in the in uh, Nokia Lumia 920. And I didn't like it at first because I, I was like, oh well it doesn't look complete. It you know, two screws. But I got used to it and it kind of just it makes it seem more sturdy. It's, there's so much in there, it needs two extra screws to hold it in. That's just my interpretation. There's a nice textured feel up here next to the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, noise canceling microphone. Uh, I just wish there was a little bit of texture on the sides because that's where your fingers are going to be more. You know? All right. Let me get a SIM card real quick. And this phone. Is Nokia Lumia 920. Love this phone. This is my daily driver. This is my phone. I'm going to take my SIM card out of here and put it in Optimus G. Goodbye. I forgot like to power down. Now, for the 920, I need a SIM removal tool, and I have one around here somewhere. SIM removal tool, where are you? Hmm. I wouldn't really recommend using a paper clip for it. I've heard people doing it. Hmm. One moment. All right. I found it. It was sitting right on the open. Gotta hate it. I use the Nokia one. This is, in my opinion, this is one of the best SIM unlock tools. I used the HTC one and broke it once. So. Put the cigarette out. So I have two hands to handle it. That goes there. All right. Now, for those of you that don't know the Nokia Lumia 920, SIM tray is right there. Bow. Oh, sometimes it doesn't go. Bow. There we go. Comes out. Pull it out. 
Now, be very careful when putting the SIM card in the micro SIM card. And I shouldn't have to say this, but my brother uh, was talking to somebody and they were asking him questions about uh, micro SIMs and switching them out and everything. And they said that their phone wouldn't work. So they assumed that the micro SIM was only for that phone. An interesting assumption. Put that off to the side. They're like, oh, it must only be for my, that phone because it won't work. Well, come to find out they had it upside down and backwards. So pay attention to how you're putting the card in. Because it was obviously preventing the phone from functioning correctly, I guess, from when I was told. So I just place that bad boy right in there to give this thing life. Well, not life, but so I can use it to its full abilities. Looks like it's giving me a hard time of getting in there. It's not exactly easiest I've ever tried that place. Maybe it's one of those ones where you gotta door assist it. That wouldn't be good if this thing pops open and my SD cards, are, my uh, SIM cards out, and that's not good. I'm trying to get it to maybe latch onto something. Yeah, because it looks like there's a spot where you use a SIM release tool to get it out. Let me try using the broad side of the similar tool. And I turn the phone on. Because the power button is on the other side. I got it. I got like beat the clock. Booting up. Now, uh, smartphones to boot up is normally really long, but apparently I'm already at the the setup screen. Sorry for the high contrast. Yeah, uh, there we go. There we go. A little hard to read, but yeah. Let's see here. Select language. English. Get started. I don't care about none of that. Cancel. I know I set one of these phones up. No? Uh, look at that. We're like, we're, we're almost completely booted up here. Press and hold the home key to see recently used apps. Hmm. A very vibrant screen. Like, I, I really, really don't think that this camera is going to be able to pick this up at all. I'm using a Logitech C720 camera. And uh, I don't really think it's going to be able to capture the awesomeness of this phone. Like, I can't, like, words can't describe right now, at this moment, how amazing this screen is. Like, wow. All right. Let's uh, look at the lock screen here. I like that. It's really cool. See? All right. Add more. Very fluent. Very, like, I can't even just, wow. It's just so snappy. They start you off with three home screens. <clears throat> of course, you can add more. All right. Let's see here. Checking out the app tray now. Right now, there's only stock and uh, stock stuff on here. Let's see what we got up here. Well, apparently, I have a phone call. All right, sorry about that, everybody. That was an important personal call that I needed to take. But uh, yeah, so we went through the box together. We've checked out the outside of the phone together. The call quality is a uh, mixed bag. Because actually, I stepped out and had a couple phone calls. And uh, it, some calls didn't go through. And I don't know if that has anything to do with them updating the LTE network in this area. Um, because, well, according to this phone, I lost LTE. And I was on actually on the Edge network. 
which is very strange because since November, we've been LTE uh, in this part of the country. So it's very strange that that happened. And also I was getting a weird audio feedback through my speakers with this phone, which is very, very strange. And I haven't seen since old flip phones when they first started getting rid of the antenna. But, uh, you know, it, it was a mixed bag. I, when I did hear them, they were great. It, it was nice and clear. Uh, I want to mention something that one reviewer actually said that uh, this, the sound sounded kind of soft. Like the speaker sounds like it has as loud a setting that it could be louder, but it doesn't go louder. I got to tell you, I've watched uh, videos, music videos. I've uh, played music, ringtones, stuff like that. Everything coming through this speaker is loud and clear, and it's not sharp. It does not have a high-pitched tone to it. It doesn't hurt your ears. It's good. Then the volume goes up almost past the point of tolerable when it comes to loudness coming from a single speaker. And some of you might know what I'm uh, referring to. I'm a bit of an audiophile, so I have a uh, distinct preference when it comes to uh just sound in general, you know, how things pitch sound and everything. I'm really, really picky when it comes to my smartphones. So I don't know if this is going to remain my daily driver just because my Nokia Lumia 920 has been my complete cure-all, so to speak. But, uh, I mean, as far as first impressions go, it seems like a great phone. And I could just be being picky. But uh, it's it's premium feel. It's It's fast. I, I've had a couple of hiccups, you know, there's cool little, little things like, you know, like see the leaves that suddenly appear, you know, and you go like that, and bam, there's the home screen. It's like very vibrant, right? You know, I, I messed around to customize a little bit, made it more of a personal feel. Um, but no, I don't have any really real complaints other than the battery life, uh, but I did not charge it. I did not charge it when I first got it. I paid all the way down till it warned me till a little warning came on the screen and then i fully charged it and it's been and i've been messing with it a little bit and it's been a hundred percent uh for a good 30 minutes now it's been on a hundred percent and if that is any indication of what the battery life is going to be then yeah i i could i would be really happy with this phone um there's some things that just seem kind of mediocre but there are other things where it's like they were really overachievers. I was not a fan of LG, but I think I might I might check out the next offering just because this has left a pretty good impression. I mean, there's some areas where I'm a bit sour, but hey, personal preference is personal preference. So this has been Demi of the Demi 80 Show giving you his initial impressions and unboxing of the LG Optimus G on at and That's kind of a lot to say. Next, M80 is going to be uh, giving you his initial impressions of this device. So, stay tuned for M80. Oh, this is pretty nifty. You know that? This whole um, screenshot thing that you can take a screenshot of your phone pretty much, and all that stuff, you know? And then you can put notes on it, you know? It's pretty cool. I haven't seen any other phone actually do that. Well, the Galaxy uh, Note 2 does that, but that's more like a tablet than a phone. Yeah, but I haven't seen one of those phones. So, like, like I said, the first phone that I, I've ever seen do that whole drawing thing and all that, or, or note taking on your screenshots. I think that's pretty nifty, you know? All right. So besides that, what else do you what What do you think of the phone? I like it a lot. It's, and on, it's gonna it's nice and nice and smooth. Apps open up fairly quick. It's, you know, actually quicker than as you can see. I just Chrome, you know, and well, it seems to be hesitating. It, it, has, it, has, it has hiccups. Like that. That's Android, though. Yeah. I don't know if it's because you know, there's no web page out for it yet. Uh, I mean, like, not out, but loaded up for it yet. So we'll load a web page up real quick. We're just going to load Google. Um, device location denial all allowed. Oh, uh, let it allow. 
<laughs> Why not? Yeah. And I'm running the uh, Windows Phone 8X. You should try a different see. app. That one's not really proving their point. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, try open up a game. Yeah, we'll open up Angry Birds here, you know? It's a good one. Everybody knows Angry Birds. Yeah, and as you can see, um, probably, you know, it loads up fairly quick, you know? Let's see, I'll open up a game on... Actually, you know what we're going to do? Just to test it out, even though know, um, they're both running uh, 1.5 Snapdragon 4 S. When, this one's a Pro, this is just a regular 4S. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, it seems to, oh, yeah, let's start the game. But what's the big difference between the processors, though, Kev? What's that standout feature? Besides the fact one's a pro and one's just a standard. This one's running a dual co um, cord, quad, whatever it's called. And this one's running a quad. Yeah. One mm -hmm. is a dual core, one's a quad core. The LG Optimus G is a quad core. You can't seem to navigate out of the game. Oh, there he goes. Here we go. I'm gonna open up the game page on the Windows Phone here. One. There we go. And let's see. Let's see if we can. All right, yeah, Angry Bird and Angry Birds. All right, we'll both do Angry Birds on both phones. One, two, three. Oh, actually, I kind of missed it on the Windows Phone a little bit. <laughs> that one, after it started for a little bit, jumped right into it. Yeah. But yeah, it beat the Windows Phone by a long shot, though. Yeah, it didn't. It was really quick. I think I did kind of miss the shot, too. I kind of went above yeah. it a little bit. All right, we'll try it again. Oh, you're going to have to exit out of it. Why don't you try regular Angry Birds just to <clears throat> so you're kind of on the same page? That wasn't the Angry Birds I had on this one. Is that one there? No, but on that one, you were open up Rio. Oh, really? Let's see. We have another one in here? Yep, there it is. There it is. I've yet to do a benchmark test on the uh, LG Optimus G, but uh, I will do that. Uh, ready? One, two, three. Windows Phone kind of hesitated. Oh, Windows Phone loaded up faster. Windows Phone seemed to take a second and hesitated, but it yeah. loaded up the game in, in its entirety a lot quicker. All right, we're going to try that again just one more time just to make sure I didn't. Uh, we're, and we're going to switch hands. In this case, one hand, the thumb's a little quicker than the other on the left. On, 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 you know, so it's an even thing and all that stuff, so it's fair. You might want to push over a little bit so you're more frame. There you go. There we go. Ready? One, two, three. That just resumed where you were. <laughs> right, this one resumes that where you left off that if you, if you hit the home key. All right, I think you should move on to the next yeah. phase of the yeah. thing. You know. <laughs> Other than that, I, I can't really say what phone quality is with this phone because I haven't actually heard what it sounds like while being on this phone. But I heard what it sounds like when someone's talking on this phone on the opposite end. And I said the, the, the crispness of the sound is real nice. It's not like some phones where it sounds like you're in a tin can with some phones. Yeah, you know? I, well, I can't, I can't agree on the other side of it because I don't know if it's just whatever phones are calling, but it's just, yeah. it's, it's, a mix, it's a mixed bag. Some is real good, others isn't. You know, and <clears throat> all that stuff. But other than that, it seems like a real nice phone. I wouldn't use it as my go-to phone, really, you know. As not a go-to phone, but as an everyday rocker, you know. I would use it as a go-to phone. And there's one other thing that they, um, they both have um, NFC, if you don't know what that is. That's that uh, tap to share. Yeah, tap to share and all that, you know. And it's pretty much all it is, is you just, you can... You can't share Windows Phone and Android for some reason. Oh, really? You can't do that? No, you can't. Oh, so there has to be another Android phone that would yeah. have to share, would have mm -hmm. to, share to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, Every Windows Phone 8 has <coughs> NFC. And Not this, every Android my, phone has My phone, the 8X, the Windows Phone, actually also does... <coughs> um, wireless charging. Actually, it's not lined up all the way. There we go. 
the only thing about the wireless charging thing is, is it got lined up just right. Is it real? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's charging there, you know. Huh? And then the LG Optimus G will turn the screen on uh, stuff too, so you can. And then, well, it's on the charging plate, and as you can hear, and also see, pretty much nothing. Nothing. It does not have the wireless charging. Although I wonder how they would pull off the wireless charging, seeing as it has a glass back. <laughs> but it, all it is is um, all it, NFC, the NFC thing. All it is really is it's a thing what Michael gives off, like a Michael thing, right? Yeah. So it wouldn't make a difference what it was if it was on on the glass, as long as it's on the other side of the glass. They had the thing for the micro. NF, well, it has the NFC, so I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah, but NFC is more of a radio frequency, whereas with uh, electricity, glass is a very good conductor. So the negative and positive would actually be meeting, in my opinion. Yeah, that's true. But then didn't you tell me before about something they have? It's NFC where you can do something, you can make it, and you can stick it to whatever. No, no, no. The NFC tags. And also, couldn't you, couldn't you make an NFC tag f for wireless charging thing, right? And just stick it on the wireless. Well, it doesn't have a wireless. No, because it doesn't have a wireless charging plate inside of it, and it's glass, and glass is a conductor of electricity. Oh. So the negative yeah. and positive will meet on the glass <laughs> before actually getting to the charging plate on the inside. All right, all right, yeah. But wireless charging isn't really a. Must have it's an it's a convenient thing it's an awesome thing to have if you have it but it's not something you actually need. You can totally live without it. Yeah, totally, totally. It takes just about as much time to put the plug in than it does to set it on the charger because you have to line it up. Yeah, because if you just put it like, say I got on. The, <laughs> took a second. <laughs> yeah, it took a second, you know, and if I. It'll get real slow charge that way. He has to line it up just right. You know, if I move it just a little bit, if you notice it, jumped off the charger and you don't hear it no more. As you can see, I put it down, and you don't hear it because I don't have the with a. Yeah, so you have to actually sit there and like line the stupid thing up, and yeah. But see, if you just drop it straight on like that with the eight X, it gives it a perfect amount, a nice area. But it, anyway, the wireless charging you have to fiddle with, which is strange. yeah, yeah, you got to fiddle with it, you know. All right. Yeah, but so that's my opinion of the. Optimus G, it's an awesome, it's a great phone, mm -hmm. you know, for for an Android. <laughs> <laughs> We're more <laughs> Windows phone users, but <clears throat> hey, you know. <clears throat> but I think it's good, but me personally, the way you, you still got your 920, obviously, you yep. know. So obviously you still have the both worlds, you still have your, I'll use my Windows phone, you still have your Windows phone, and now you have an Android phone, so you can kind of bounce back and forth. Like, so I yeah. can see what both ecosystems are doing. And on it, you can also, you, you don't get tired of just one plain yeah, I can just switch on my SIM card to whatever phone I want. I'm not sure if like people who are, that are familiar with the Windows phone know what the Windows phone looks like already, but ones that don't, it's pretty. You know, obviously you, you've probably seen other videos of Windows phones and all that stuff. But the thing I like about Windows phone, Windows phone is how you can like change the tiles. You can do whatever. You can even you remove. can make it your own. Yeah, you can remake. You can make it your own, and you can't really do that. With an Android phone, you know, the only thing you can do with an Android phone really is, you can um pick a different background background picture, you know. Well, you got the launchers and stuff, but that's not really yeah. anything like. You can uh, I don't know. It's yeah, just right. weird. It's it's different. It seems like yeah. a deeper level of personalization. Yeah. All right, but this yeah, but was our first ever first impressions and unboxing video. Like, share, comment. If you want us keep doing unboxing videos, let us know. Yeah, you know, let us know what kind of videos you think we should, you know. This has been Tech Time with Demi. And then Mady. And this is just our opinions. If you don't like it, you can fuck off.